so let us now continue our topic and let's talk about the history of nursing in the Philippines. So the early beliefs and practices about illness um, during the time the treatment for disease and the causes um, are formed by mysticism and superstition. So uh, the causation of illness or diseases there was a belief that it could be from another person or a witch or because of evil spirits. And the persons with powers to expel demons are believed that could uh, drive away evil spirits during this time. So people believe in special gods of healing with the priest physician called as the word doctors, in our word doctors, as intermediary. If they used leaves or roots, they were called herb doctors or herbolarios. And so the earliest hospitals established during the Spanish regime is the first one is the Hospital Real de Manila in 1577. So the care for the Spanish king's soldier founded by a governor Francisco de Sande. And the other one, the second one, is the San Lazaro Hospital, which was founded in 1578, um, founded by Brother Juan Clemente and administered by hospitaliers of San Juan de Dios, exclusively for patients with leprosy. Kaya alam naman natin yung nasa San Lazaro is more of communicable diseases. So, um, Another or the third one is the Hospital de Indio, which was published in 1586 by a Franciscan order. It is supported by alms and contributions for charitable persons. And the fourth one is the Hospital de Aguas Santas, which was published in 1590. So it was established in Laguna near the Medicinal Spring, which was founded by a Brother J. Bautista of the Franciscan Order. The fifth one is the San Juan de Dios Hospital, founded in 1596 by a brotherhood of Misericordia and run by hospitaliers of San Juan de Dios. It's uh, supported from alms and rents and general services for people. So, nursing during the Philippine Revolution. So, nasaan ang nursing? So, paano siya nag exist Or how it was practiced? The prominent persons involved in nursing works during the um, Philippine Revolutions are the following. No? Josephine Bracken. She is the wife of Dr. Jose Rizal. Okay? Uh, she installed a field of hospital in a state um, house in Tejeros, provided nursing care to the wounded night and day. Kasi nga, may gera during that time. And another one is Rosa Sevilla de Alvero. So, they converted their house into quarters for the Filipino soldiers during the Philippine-American War in 1899. And another one is Doña Hilaria de Aguinaldo. Uh, she's the wife of Emilio Aguinaldo. And she organized the Filipino Red Cross under the inspiration of Apolinario Mabini. And another one is Doña Maria Agoncillo de Aguinaldo, who is the second wife of Emilio Aguinaldo. Um, they provided nursing care for the Filipino soldier during the revolution. She's the president of the Filipino Red Cross branch in Batangas. And another one um, significant person during the um, Philippine Revolution is Melchora Aquino or Tandang Sora. She's the nurse or nursed the wounded Filipino soldiers and gave them shelter and food. Okay. So, ganon. And Capitan Salome. She's the revol revolutionary leader in Nueva Ecija and provided nursing care to the wounded when not in combat. And Agueda Cahabagan, 
uh, Revolutionary Leader 2 in Laguna, who provided nursing services to her troop in Trinidad Texon or Inan ng Biak na Bato, stayed in the hospital in Biak na Bato to care for the wounded soldiers. So, hospitals and schools of nursing, okay, the Iloilo Mission Hospital School of Nursing, uh, established in Iloilo City in 1906. It was run by the Baptist Foreign Missionary, uh, Mission Society, Society of America. So, Miss Roll Nicolette, a graduate of New England Hospital for Women and Children in Boston, Massachusetts, was the first superintendent in Iloilo Mission Hospital School of Nursing. And Miss Flora Ernst, an American nurse, took the off top of the school in 1942. She took charge of the school in 1942. And another uh, school, hospital and school of nursing is St. Paul Hospital School of Nursing in Manila, which was published in 1907. The hospital was established by Archbishop of Manila, the Most Reverend Jeremiah Harty, under the supervision of the Sisters of St. Paul the Charters. And the Philippine General Hospital School of Nursing, published also in the same year, 1907, mainly for civil officers and employees in the city of Manila and became a civil hospital and the St. Luke's Hospital School of Nursing in Quezon City published in the same year also 1907 uh, this is a hospital in Episcopalian institution begun as a small dispensary so it opened with three Filipino girls admitted so another one is the Philippine um Christian Mission Institute School of Nursing. So, Martin Sally Long Reed Memorial Hospital School of Nursing, Ilawag, Ilocos Norte, published in 1903. Mary Charles Hospital School of Nursing in Manila, published in 1911. And the Frank Dunn Memorial Hospital in Vigan, Ilocos Sur, published in 1912. So, Mary Johnson Hospital and School of Nursing in Manila, published in 1907. So, Bethany Dispensary, founded by Methodist Mission for the Relief of Suffering Among Women and Children. So, ano pa? So, madami pa, no? Hospital or Emmanuel Hospital School of Nursing in Copies, published in 1913. And on the same year, the San Juan de Dios Hospital School of Nursing in Manila was published as well. And in Southern Island of Hospital School of Nursing in Cebu, published in 1918. So, other schools of nursing established were the following. Sambuanga General Hospital School of Nursing in 1921. Chinese General Hospital School of Nursing, 1921. So, 100 years na tayo. Baguio General Hospital School of Nursing, 1923, Manila Sanitarium and Hospital School of Nursing, published in 1930, St. Paul's School of Nursing in Iloilo City, published in 1946, the Northern General Hospital and School of Nursing in 1945, and Siliman University School of Nursing, published in 1947. So, napakarami na, no? So, the first colleges of nursing in the Philippines, okay, so colleges of nursing in the Philippines, number one, is the University of Santo Tomas College of Nursing in 1946, and then Manila Central um, University College of Nursing and University of the Philippines College of Nursing. Sila yung mga first. So, the nursing leaders in the Philippines. So, meron, tay meron tayong the following nursing leaders. Number one is Anastasia Hiron Tupas, who is the first Filipino nurse as chief nurse, superintendent, and the founder of the Philippine Nurses Association. And the second one is Saria Tan, um, said Filipino to uh, to receive a master's degree, first Filipino to receive a master's degree in nursing abroad. 
and Socorro Serilan, who pioneered chief nurse in San Lazaro Hospital, and Rosa Militar, a pioneer in school health education. So, source, Ricarda Mendoza, a pioneer in nursing education. Socorro Diaz, who is the first editor of Philippine Nurses Association magazine, called The Message. Conchita Ruiz, the first full-time editor of the newly uh, named PNA magazine or the Filipino Nurse. And Loretta Tupas, who is the Dean of the Philippine Nursing, the Florence Nightingale of Iloilo. So let us now proceed to the history of nursing in Chinese general hospital colleges. Okay, nursing uh, liberal arts was founded in 1921 as Chinese General Hospital School of Nursing. The idea was conceived by Dr. Jose T. Hanke, who is the director of Chinese General Hospital. With him were three physicians who organized the training of the school. And the Sisters of the Immaculate Conception, based in Hong Kong and Canton, were requested by Dr. T. Hanke Hanke to help in starting the school, having been uh, impressed with their work, the first batch of five sisters arrived in August 1921. Mrs. Praxedes Kutoy, RN from PGH, was appointed as chief nurse and the principal of the School of Nursing. So that actually ends our history of nursing in the world okay in the philippines and in our institution so uh, let me end this um, discussion with this verse second chronicles 15 to 7 be ye strong therefore and let not your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded god bless you all